All right, you guys, listen. It is 2023, February 2023, which means that it is Black History Month. And I decided that I want to share a piece of Black history, my Black history. Okay, let's go. All right, you guys, as I said, it's Black History Month. So welcome to Black History Month. It's We're 10 days in, 10 days in. And I hope you are enjoying it and picking up. Because every year, every year, I pick up something that I didn't know. Um, Black history, that's just the way it's supposed to be. Um, especially with us having the whole World Wide Web and being connected to everybody all over the world. It's kind of hard not to pick up something that you didn't know about black history throughout the month. So here's my thing. I'm gonna share something that's actually personal that's part of my own black history, cause I'm black. And I <laughs> every year that I'm here, it's another historic moment for me. So I'm gonna share from that space. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, a lot of you all know that. Some of you don't know. Some of you are confused. A lot of you get confused. And whenever you hear I'm from Pennsylvania, you automatically stick me in Philadelphia. And I get that. I've been doing videos for a lot of years at this point, And it's always Philadelphia, Philadelphia. I'm not from Philadelphia. I'm not from Philadelphia. I'm actually six hours away from Philadelphia. I am very much from Pittsburgh. I am from the home of the Steelers, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the home of the Penguins, the home of the Pirates. I'm from that Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm proud of it. The Three Rivers, that's, that's where I'm at. And here's the thing. What I'm actually going to share is the fact that um, I say it, and I'm, I'm not even trying to be politi politically correct. This video is not going to be PC. This is my piece of Black history, okay? So I'm going to say this. The reason why I always get thrown into Philadelphia, because for some reason, Pittsburgh, people view it as like a white town. It is. It is. And they view Philadelphia as a Black town. It is, okay? It just kind of, that's the way it goes. It don't have to be right. It doesn't have to be PC. That's the way it goes. When you hear Pennsylvania, you stick black folks in Philly and you stick white folks in Pittsburgh, if you even mention Pittsburgh. But, um, you know, a lot of people just talk about Harrisburg. It's like, child, that's where the money's at. <laughs> okay, that's where the politics of the money is. But I'm from Pittsburgh, okay? so. Is it a white town? Yes. 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 Is that a bad thing? No. No. Mm -mm, it's not. But just know this. Black people were definitely a huge part of the start and the foundation of Pittsburgh. And I don't think a lot of people actually know that. So here is some history for you. Okay. And this is one of our things as to why we actually celebrate Juneteenth. And what you're looking at there on the screen, that's called the point. That's what we call it. The black folks, we, re we refer to it as the point, but it's actually called Point State Park. Okay. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. But black folks were very much a part of the start of this city. Okay. In 1758, there were 42 black men that actually fought with General John Forbes to take Fort Duquesne from the French. And then it was renamed, that area was renamed Fort Pitt. Okay. You'll hear me say a lot of times, like I'll be just talking and I'll be like, that's it, Fort Pitt, because that's that's part of my lineage. That's Fort Pitt is a big thing. You know, it's a it's a big part of 
Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh history. I am born, bred, and raised Pittsburgh. I've never lived anywhere else. I am from Pittsburgh, period. So you'll hear me say stuff like that. You'll hear me tell you in a minute, it's my Pennsylvania privilege to do and say whatever I choose to say. And you'll also hear me say, that's it, Fort Pitt, that I'm from Pittsburgh, okay? But like I said, there were 42 black men, 42 of them, that literally were right there in the fight to take over from the French and let this be what it is, okay? So we are very much a part of the foundation of this city, okay? So don't get it twisted. And then we literally, every year, Juneteenth, we celebrate our ancestors by hosting some stuff during Juneteenth right there at the Point or Point State Park, which you're looking at right here. Let me give you a better picture because that's at night. Here is what it looks like during the day. That's what it looks like during the day. That, you see that fountain? That fountain is fantastic. It, this picture does it no justice, really. Um, but that right there, that area is where um, the city of Pittsburgh basically starts. It's it's the it's the the beginning of the city of Pittsburgh. It is in lower downtown, as you I always call this the bottom of town. When you go straight up, you're going into town. That's what you're looking at right there is downtown Pittsburgh. If you go beyond the park and beyond the fountain, baby, you in the water. You can't go any further. So that's why I always call it the bottom of town. That's just my thing. I call it the bottom of town. But that's what it is. That's where the city of Pittsburgh starts. It's right there at the fountain. And then we go up and you go up into uptown and all of that other business. From looking at the picture, I am on on the left of you is where I actually grew up, which would actually be on the north side. So over one of those bridges, you got to go across the bridge. You know, we got a lot of bridges, a lot of bridges. So you got to go across the bridge, but on the left side of the picture that you're looking at, it's your left as you're watching. I am from the north side. I grew up right there on the north side, literally walking distance. We actually walk downtown sometimes from where I actually grew up. Um, yeah, very proud of my city. But like I said, that is Point State Park. It later became known as, like I said, it's the starting location of the city of Pittsburgh. And it started to um, be called, you know, the area was renamed Point State Park. And like I said, slang, we actually just call it the Point. We call it the point. A lot of things actually go on there throughout the summer. The arts festival is down there and all of those different things. But here is my, my piece of Black history that is personal to me right there in the point. Something that is a memory of mine is I actually got to see Ella Fitzgerald right there at the point which is something that everybody can't say. I, I, I was about eight, I had to be eight or nine years old, but I went to see Ella Fitzgerald with my aunt, which is, well, she's my great aunt, actually. She's my grandmother's sister, my aunt Louise, took me, that was her favorite. She was her favorite artist. And she took me to see her, eight or nine years old. See, I tell you all the time, my musical taste has always been very much more mature than I was. So my aunt knew that. And she introduced me to, I knew the songs because she would listen to the songs, but I actually got to see her live. Got to see her live. Ella Fitzgerald is a legend. She is, based, she's a jazz icon. And she's basically like the queen of scat. Um, if you don't know what scatting is, you can Google, you can Google, um, it's a talent, it's a talent. Scatting is to jazz what yodeling is to country music. When the feelings roll high and you are in, you will scat. And then scatting is kind of, you're kind of running scales and kind of replacing words with sound, but 
if you have soul, you kind of understand it and you understand what's really being said and what the feeling really is. Same as yodeling, but what yodeling is to country music. Um, everybody can't scat. Everybody can't. Um, Ella Fitzgerald was known for it. Known for it. She's a, a vocal beast. She was. She really, really was. She was something something awesome. But like I said, I've got, I got to see her perform live in person there at the point at a concert with my grandmother's sister. So that's like one of my, that's my favorite memory of my Aunt Louise. And um, one of my favorite memories of the point. It is, it is, it is. And then just look how things go full circle. You all know that I do drag and that kind of thing. Um, also, with Ella, the whole Ella Fitzgerald thing and all of that, I actually won uh, the Miss Pittsburgh pageant when um, actually doing one of Ella Fitzgerald's scatting songs, which is like one of the most famous ones that she does, which is a live version of Airmail Special. All those years later, from eight or nine years old, actually seeing her in person to literally in the 90s, I ended up winning that pageant performing one of her songs. So just a whole full circle moment for me. But that is what I wanted to share. That's my piece of Black history that I wanted to share about my city, about my city, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the point. And again, this year, we will be doing it again as we always do. We will be celebrating uh, celebrating Juneteenth. It'll be June 16th through the 19th. There'll be celebration of our ancestors who actually helped start up this whole thing called Pittsburgh. Okay? So it is what it is. I just felt like sharing again um, I hope you're having a great February, a great Black History Month. I hope you're picking up something daily, something daily that you didn't know, something that you didn't know. Rather it be something personal from somebody who is Black or just an actual piece of, his, you know, some type of history that you didn't know about. And that's it. That's all. That's what I wanted to share. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for clicking the button. Thank you for watching. And um, here, let me hit you with this. Let me hit you with this. This is what things look like at nighttime. That's what it looks like at nighttime. Fantastic. It's definitely something to be able to brag about. That's my city. That's my city. Pittsburgh, loud and strong. You got it? All right. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And, and, and feel like